charged for court. Megan is being imprisoned when authorities uncovered that she and Andrew like boat sex trade. Many pictures of ladies from yacht parties have gone viral with accusations that they are of Toronto resident Meghan Markle. It is reported that Meghan was a frequent at the upscale bar Soho House, which is located in Toronto. You must either be a member with a couple of $1,000 dues, or know someone who is a member to get entry. She visited the place, and among the murmurs about her was the claim that she was a boat girl, or an upmarket prostitute. Bring this rumor to its conclusion. Thereafter, several people truly said that's how Harry met her. Well, I'm not sure if it is real or not, but I can assure you that not a single fiber of my being believes that phony blind date set up by a common acquaintance. According to Ms. Jew Free's attorney, David Boys, their side is thinking about making a call. Due to a variety of factors, the actor has cooperated with HRH as a testimony. 1. In the US, she is. Thus, Mr. Boyce said, we have authority over her. And second, she was definitely a tight friend of Prince Andrew for a while, if not permanently, so she is in a situation to maybe know some information that we could require. Meghan Markle could have met Prince Andrew through Galen Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein, years before she met Prince Harry, according to Maxwell's unauthorized biographer. In 2020, the Steeple Times said that a respected reporter gave them the heads up to ask if the future Duchess of Sussex had met Prince Andrew through the convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. By Summers, the author of Ghislaine Maxwell. An unauthorized biography returned to this topic in a recent podcast that was uploaded to YouTube. In it, she looked at the relationships between Markle, her close friend Marcus Anderson, Epstein, Maxwell, and Prince Andrew, and she speculated that Anderson might have been a link between Epstein and Markle as early as 2001. Summers said that a picture of Markle and Prince Andrew having fun on a yacht in Pukut, Thailand, would surface in the media. In addition, Summers said that Markle had received an invitation to Yacht Week 2016, an event that GQ magazine subsequently referred to as Sodom and Gomorrah at sea. It is still unknown if the Duchess of Sussex really went or not. The blogger further claimed on Twitter that Jeffrey E. P. Epstein's controllable forces also held sway over the Duchess of Sussex. In unrelated news, authorities have just charged Prince Harry and Meghan Markle with causing earthquake-scale fissures that have encroached onto every one of their relationships. Christopher Anderson, a royal novelist, has concurred with these assertions. Throughout the course of his conversation with Fox News Digital, he made the disclosures. Mr. Anderson asserted that the rift was seismic, especially in view of Harry's vicious criticisms of his brother in Parliament. Because to this, Mr. Anderson's injured Harry and Meghan are unable to hope that William and Kate will welcome them with wide arms or, at this point, even feign to treat them with anything other than icy contempt.